Hello YouTubers, um, the old American Liberty Fighters here. Been a while since I put out my last video. I seem to say that quite a bit on videos, but um, anyhow, I was working late the other night and um, having some conversations online with a couple people that are supporting one specific candidate for the presidency, um, whom I'm not really particularly um, interested in um, just because of what I know about him. Um, it seems like a lot of people are interested in in Trump being the next president, but I, I don't understand why. And the more that I ask people to give me reasons why, um, and the more pushback I get, the more unanswered questions I have, um, the more it makes me not really care much to um, support Donald Trump. <clears throat> I don't like being called names and I try not to call other people names when I'm when I'm having conversations or debating on who is going to be the um, right person um, in, in my mind for the president um, opposed to somebody else's view of who might be right for the presidency. Um, so when I'm called a pinhead or um, when I'm told that I'm being somehow, um, I don't, I, there's a bunch of wording that, that's used. There's, there's a lot of things that people do um, and they look at it from, from the liberal side where if uh, somebody who's voting for a Democrat um, or who they consider as a progressive or a liberal were to talk to them and they would say something or ask some question and then they, would, they, they wouldn't know how to give an answer then all of a sudden there'd be name calling and, and yelling and screaming and, and feelings would be hurt. Um, and that's kind of how it goes when you, when, you, um, when you ask someone who supports Donald Trump, uh, when you ask them to support their, their claims of what's going on. Um, and the, the conversation that that was going on, the the post that I saw was about the um, the protests that happened at Trump, at the Trump rally, where Donald Trump um, had to actually cancel the rally, and um, how evidently Ted Cruz and um, Marco Rubio were siding uh, with Black Lives Matter and all the other protesters. Um, because they said Donald Trump had some culpability in what happened, which I tend to agree. Donald Trump, the wording that the man uses, makes him responsible in the way that he didn't use better words to get his supporters to understand how he feels. Um, when you call for people to be violent, you're going to get violence. Um, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm an angry individual. I'm an, I'm an angry American. Um, I don't agree with the, the, the current administration. I don't agree with the way the country is being, being driven into the ground. Um, I don't think that there's been a president in the last few years, um, in, the fa in the past few cycles, that has been... Um, up to the task of bringing America back to where it should be. And I honestly don't think Donald Trump is either. Donald Trump is a businessman. He's not a statesman, and he's surely not a politician. But if you watch the man, and if you listen to the man, he sure does sound like a politician because he loves to put other people down. And that's the thing. When everybody's talking about how others are attacking Donald Trump, they kind of dismiss the fact that Donald Trump not only is attacking others on a political um, level, but on a personal level. So, I mean, tit for tat, however you want to put it, the man is in there. He has decided to put throw his hat in the ring and to run for political office. When you do that, you open yourself up for criticism and for attacks from whatever side. Um, I am a Ted Cruz supporter. I happen to think Ted Cruz is the only one that is on the Republican ballot 
um, still that can move the country forward in a constitutionally conservative way that can bring us to a constitutionally conservative um, state again. Uh, he's done everything he said he would do that he's promised his constituents when he was sent and, and elected into the Senate. Um, I mean, he went so far as to stand on the Senate floor and filibuster by reciting green eggs and ham. Uh, you know, I happen to like the way Ted Cruz um, presents himself. Uh, I don't think he's the perfect candidate, but then nobody's going to ever be the perfect candidate. Um, I'm not always going to agree with everything every candidate has to offer, but he has more that I agree with, more that I line up with than any other candidate. I don't agree with eminent domain. I think that is unconstitutional and should not be should not be accepted nor allowed. Um, I don't feel that, that the federal government should be um, funding anything that the state or that the county or city level could be funding itself. Um, I think that we have gone so far away from what the Constitution was supposed to be for the United States and what the founders actually uh, wanted for America. Um, I think we have a lot of politicians who are only there to make money from lobbying. Um, we have lobbyists who are there who are giving away money to get their to get what they want, and we have politicians who are there lining their pockets in order to do so. Um, those are the ones that need to go away. Uh, you want to talk about um, term limits? Well, we had the ultimate term limits um, in the Constitution until we changed it, or we allowed the state and federal government to change it. Um, I mean, honestly, does anybody really go and look at history? Do, do, do we not understand where we were and why we are where we're at now? Um, for those who want to say that if Trump actually wins the nomination, they're going to sit at home because they're Republican and therefore they're not going to vote for Trump and they're not going to vote for Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders in case, you know, the socialist on the Democratic side wins the nomination for them. I'll have some soul searching to do if Donald Trump actually wins the nomination for the Republicans. Uh, but I won't not vote. Um, I will still vote, whether it's a write-in vote or um, a vote for Trump. I don't know what else to do at this point. I mean, it's gone on so long with Americans going ahead and voting for the lesser of two evils. It won't change this election cycle. I doubt it'll change next election election cycle, but maybe maybe what's happening in in America now will wake more people up to the fact that they've given away the freedoms and the rights that they used to have. And in order to get them back, they're going to have to stand up and voice their opinion and stand for what they believe in instead of Instead of allowing um, allowing their God-given rights and their freedoms to be taken gradually by a federal government who loves to out to, to, to overstep themselves um, in the guise of giving free things, um, I, I I guess I don't know how else to put it. But um, I don't know how many people will agree with me or how many people will disagree. That's up to you. That's, um, I've said it every time I ever have a conversation, whether it be online, in person, or however, you, you know, I always stay the same, you know, state the same thing. You vote for who you want to vote for. I'm going to vote for who I want to vote for. Um, because I don't agree with you doesn't mean I'm right, and it doesn't mean I'm wrong. Because you don't agree with me doesn't mean you're right or you're wrong. Um, Honestly, it's, it's, 
that's what the free society is. That's what we do. We have the the privilege and the freedom to disagree with each other. Um, we can either do it civilly or we can do it uncivilly. Um, I, I opt for civil debate before I devolve into um, you know uncivil debate. Um, I'll be just as civil with the individual I'm speaking with as they are with me. But when they disrespect me and they 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 uh, sink to name calling and and can't give me information, I tend to either um, I'll come back at them, I'll attack right back, or I'll walk away because. Um, I honestly believe that um, you know the good book says um, you shouldn't you shouldn't throw pearls to swine. Um, I mean the the more um, mean way to put it would be I guess uh, you can't fix stupid. You know you can't speak to stupid. So um, for all you Trump supporters, if you support Donald Trump, great. So be it. Support him. But give me reasons why. Because I'll give you reasons why I don't support him. I don't support him because I don't believe that he's going to do what's right for America. Donald Trump is a businessman. And after all, Donald Trump's going to do what Donald Trump thinks is best for Donald Trump. Um, I don't believe in eminent domain. Donald Trump believes that eminent domain is great. Um, I don't believe that the federal government should be um, supplying our health care. Donald Trump seems to think that it's okay, that he kind of likes the ACA, but he would change a few things about it. Um, you know, those are just a few things that I can think of off the top of my head that make me question Donald Trump. Um, I don't necessarily agree with how Ted Cruz speaks about what he'll do, uh, because I honestly think that the most important the most important people in federal government right now are our Congress and we need to put those in Congress who are actually going to do the job that Congress was um, put in place to do and they're not they're, at this time they're not doing their job the president only has so much power you can't go in and write executive actions and write executive orders um, and throw fits and demand things and then have you know, have it go your way. I mean, we've had seven, almost eight years of that now, and it's gotten us where we're at. We've had a Congress who has capitulated at every turn, but we've also had a Congress for the first two years of this president's first administration that were democratically controlled, and for the last two years of the Bush administration that was democratically controlled. So anything that the Democrats or Obama wanted to get changed could have been done either at the latter part of Bush's term or at the very first two years of Obama's first term. Hadn't happened, ain't gonna happen. They're gonna continue to play these little games and we're gonna continue to evidently believe what they say. We can continue to vote the same congressman into office and the same type of president into office. That's, I guess, what we do. Um, or we can actually finally figure it out, get plugged in, um, learn how the political process actually is going, and change it from our side. Vote those in that are going to do what needs to be done. Understand what our constitutional rights are. Understand that just because they're constitutional rights doesn't mean that the federal government has granted us those rights. It means the federal government agrees and understands that they are our rights to begin with. So, um, I mean, that's where I'm at. That's how I understand it. If you understand it a different way, message me, um, leave a comment down below, tell me what you understand, tell me what you think, tell me if you disagree with what I'm saying. Um, let's have some communication here. Let's, let's, have a debate about it. Um, let's have a conversation about it. Um, I don't necessarily want to argue with anybody, but I do want to hear what others say. If you agree, awesome. But you know, like, like my video. If you if if, if you agree, 
and leave a comment down below of what you agree with. Um, you don't have to agree with everything I say. Nobody has to. Um, and if you disagree, give me a, give me a thumbs down. That's fine. Um, leave me a comment if you do. Let me know, or you can you can shoot back a video reply, um, expressing what you disagree with. Uh, as long as it's all um, you know uh, respectful in a respectful way, I'm not throwing you know vulgarities out to anybody. I can go that route. Um, I've gone that route before. I'm trying to be a better individual. Um, I can go ahead and go back to my military days and just completely go all out there. Um, what we would what we would call losing my military bearing. Um, but um, I, at this point in time, choose not um, to do so. Again, I guess I'm just ram rambling on here. Uh, but um, you know. I actually I've enjoyed having conversations with people about what's going on in, in our country um, not to the point where I, I can say that when they disagree with me and they give me no reason for disagreement um, that that it's it's pleasing it kind of it, it, it pisses me off um, you know I don't like having to read articles that somebody throws out there that they get from, I don't know where they get them from, um, and then tells me that they actually research stuff when they don't. Um, that kind of shows your ignorance and your immaturity. And this individual ought to know who they are if they even watch my channel, which I don't know if they do or not, and I really don't care. Um, but uh, anyhow, um, Thanks for listening to me ramble on here. Um, if you haven't yet, please definitely subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Um, like my videos and leave some comments down below. Um, again, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And you all have a great week. And I'll put another video as soon as I can. Thanks. God bless.